Namaste Muji. Namaste Ji. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm so to, to uh-huh. I'm sure there's some divine will for me to be here in your presence. Mm-hmm. To acknowledge that. <laughs> yeah. And uh, uh, I've only been practicing for a year and a half. Yes. I've experienced the state of beingness. Yes. It's beautiful. Yes. My ego doesn't show up. It's blissful. Yeah. But in the moments that it's not there, when I forget it. When what you forgot? The beingness. The beingness. So even beingness then must come and go. If you say in when the beingness is here, uh, there's so much joy, no ego is showing up. But when it is not there, so there must be something subtler than beingness also then. Take a moment, even beingness, hmm? what is beingness? The sense of presence, the place of intuition, beyond ego, that which witnesses ego and the world. Hmm? Then you say, but when it is not there, is it that when the sense of beingness is not there, the mind come again, or what? Yeah. Okay. I am outside that frame of reference. I'm in the frame of my mind. Okay. Um, Yeah, I'm I'm in the frame of my mind. Yes. Um, Then my ego shows up. Yes. All my idiosyncrasies show up. Yes. But the experience of beingness is remembered. Yes. And my ego wants to make that about itself. Yes. And it, it's a hindrance for me to go back to my beingness. Yes. Because I feel like I have to go back to that standard or something beautiful there. Okay, so let's do something. Mind is visible, um, ego visible, yeah. and its world of personhood, of uh, all of this, is visible, it is perceivable. So let's leave that aside for a moment, mm-hmm. which we can do, leave it, it's okay, leave it aside. Then they are watched from, let's say, from the place of beingness. They are observed, you see, from a place of kind of neutrality or something. Yeah. You may call it the sense of beingness. But you said something very interesting. You say, sometime when the, when the beingness itself is not there, mm-hmm. okay, then mind come. What about if mind is put aside and even the sense of beingness, if it comes and goes, it must be phenomenal then. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. So let's put them over there, okay? So the option is not mind or beingness. Mm-hmm. Mind and beingness okay live. Don't invent a thought now. Any thought you go, it is gonna to belong to a mind. Beingness itself doesn't have any thought actually. So even the subtlety of beingness, mm-hmm. the sense or the intuition, I exist. You see, in the morning, maybe you get up in the morning and you just are. Even your memory of being a person hasn't come yet. Sometimes you may experience that. And then maybe the alarm clock go off or something and you're triggered back into the memory of being somebody. So that somebody arise. Also the sense of beingness, the awareness of being alive, also come in the phenomenal waking state, the sense of presence come. Then out of that come the sense of personal. Okay, just please, you can do. If I say that which comes and goes, that's the mind, ego, personal self, now beingness itself, if it's something that come and go, leave them now. And don't touch any thought. What is here? that would say, the beingness is coming back. I said, don't worry. Beingness, 
the sense of I am, I exist, is itself phenomenal. More subtle than the mind, and most people don't even realize it. Nevertheless, it's there. So if the sense of a person is fades or comes and goes out of focus, then now the beingness that perceives the person is also ignored now. If it come and go, we don't want, uh, is a tourist. Leave aside. Then what remain? And I'm not asking your mind for this question. Bear it, bear it for a minute. Please take this, follow this. You have given me a wonderful opportunity to look with you. Because so far we can come when we shift attention from the phenomenal world of personhood and its world and so on. Then we, we are looking from the place of, of beingness, which is not an ego. It, it, is the, it is just the conscious, the functioning consciousness, the dynamic consciousness. Hmm? Then that you say, when sometimes the beingness is uh, fluctuate. Okay, then leave all of them simply. So now what remain now? And don't pick up a thought about it. Do you exist? Only as nothing. Huh? Only as nothing. Only as nothing. Mm -hmm. Is that a derogatory description? I feel it. Huh? I, I do. No. No, it's a beautiful experience. Yeah, is it an experience even? Whose experience? Slow down, slow down. This is wonderful we are having this talk. The, the, the sense of the person, the person's world, you may call it ego and so on, you have left aside for a moment because it, it's something observable. So attention has moved and now the beingness is seeing that from the sense or the intuition, I exist, sees the mind. Then you say that I exist also is fluctuating, Bhavati. Oh. Leave him also then. Leave them. Then what remain? And don't invent another concept. What remain? Don't put to word only what is there, what is here then? Is it describable or definable? It's present. It's present. It's here. Did it come? I think it was always there. Yes. I who think it was always there is coming from where? Okay, again, the subtle I. <laughs> yeah. Does that which we are referring to depend upon subtle I to, to speak up for it? No. Ah, okay. Lost? Even the sense of loss is merely a sensation believed in the, I am lost. Maybe because the mind cannot explain this. Who are you now? Is it valid? Have we gone too far? Is your suffering here? You use the term nothing, I'm nothing here. I say this nothing, is it a dirty word? No, no. thing. It's nothing but still feels like everything. Yes. It's nothing, feels like everything. Is it having to control everything? Have you made a big mistake? <laughs> confused? N not confused. 
But I know I want to know how to live. You want to know how to live. How to how to embody that, be in that space and live every day. Be in the space of my nothingness. Yes. And still go through everything in life without yes. switching back to my. Who is speaking now? Who has to do that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I it's want to meet the one who does nothing, yeah. who has to keep doing nothingness. So it only calls for. I know. I don't. I. You see, we're running now. We've run out of techniques. Techniques is for the person, for the mind, even for the sense of beingness. You can call. It. But these are now redundant now. Are you dead? Are you here still? And if you are, as what? And you and such, uh, kind of like a kind of nothing. But I said, as what? What is that? You say, like a kind of everything, nothing. I said, ah, oh, yeah, it feels good. Okay. Then comes the response. Now, yes. What do I have to do to embody this nothing? Where does this thought come from? From the ego. From ego. From mind, same thing. Can you bear it? Can you bear your own emptiness? That's why I ask, have we gone too far? We have actually left the room? <laughs> Don't ask the mind how you are. I just want to see, because there is some seemingly existential fear to go beyond the parameters of the apparent known. Let's surf in the realm of the knowable. We can compare and do and change and grow, and, but now beyond this also, not beyond like over the rainbow, but beyond in terms of subtlety. Now language is not uh, not credible here. Language wants to create more concepts about it, but it's before concepts. Be before even the the intuition, like to be, like I exist, which means also I can also not exist. So earlier than that. I exist or I don't exist is meaningless to this. So the question comes, how can I embody this? Who is asking this question? Is it relevant to this? Have we made the wrong turn? Oh, Babaji. What have you done to me? <laughs> you are going to find out now how your consciousness and mind function and see they are just playing. They are just playing. They are happening. But yourself is not a happening. But we also are able to experience the sense of a self that is happening. But that self will not run into trouble. Because the parent of that self is absolute. Is this just words? Is it just another highfalutin concept? Have you made a mistake to come up to the microphone today? Yeah. So. I think this will really help me in my practice to know what is the sense of I. Yes. And what is truly I, the beingness. Yes. I think that differentiation. Yes. And the. So just remind me, you are being what again? Being able, in my practice, being able to know. The one who practices, okay. Yeah. Okay, yes, yeah. And. Uh, so the one who practices is also seen, also, no? Yeah. 
It's subtle. I am not throwing it away. But why you say practice is because at the moment, this discovery has not happened before, and it feels it's like someone's discovery. Yeah. And this someone is feeling like, whoa, I must not forget this. I must not forget this emptiness, nothingness. <laughs> <laughs> it's paradox, but it's very important. Now I, something needs to sit with that. The familiar sense of self must find its reference and say, okay, I must make use of this practice, which is good. Because if not, we sl slip back into the, the usual yeah. Oh, I'm not having, I'm having a bad day today. I don't know what I'm going to do, and my life is falling apart, and so. On. <laughs> I like that laughter. Something can happen. <laughs> it is like the laughter that must have come from the child who saw the king was naked. <laughs> you know that story. I didn't hear it as a child. I heard it as adult actually. And uh, yes, they say the king has, you know, has uh, went to want a, a, a robe that is so amazing, the best, made out of the best material in the whole world. And so he asked his finest tailors, make this robe for me. It, no thing can compare with it. And so they start to try and stitch all kind of beautiful things. They got silk from China, they got this from that, they made. And the king said, no, no, it's not this, it's not this. So in the end, they thought about it and they thought, ah, they're going to make a garment out of nothing. It's going to be so refined that nobody can see it. <laughs> so they're going to work and they make this beautiful, well, I don't know if they thought it was beautiful, but they went to the king, they said, Your Majesty, we, uh, this is nothing like this exists in the world. But we have done it. We have made uh, the most incredible gown. There's nothing like it. It's so, it, the material is so fine, so refined. You, the, the, uh, the senses cannot perceive it. The king goes, mm, mm, that, That's what I want. So then they said, okay, fine. He said, I want to try it on. And they said, okay, yes, Your Majesty. I want to wear it for, the, for, for my people today to see what an amazing thing. <laughs> so they said, yes, Your Majesty. They played along. And then they said, okay. He said, I have to remove all his clothes because his clothes will interfere with the quality of the... So he took off everything, ta -ta 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 -ta, <laughs> took everything off. And he says, okay, Your Majesty, put on, uh, put on, put on. This, that, 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 that. And then they blow the trumpet. All the people, king walks out, and everybody's going, oh, It is so wonderful. Oh, you're my, oh it's great. It's, and the Majesty is feeling very, very happy. And some little boy looked and said, uh, the king is naked. <laughs> I can see his willy and everything. <laughs> and the father. <laughs> so it must be this, this child is saying, but it's nothing there because you say, I must do this and it is true. We have to, for a while, keep looking, verifying, and what happens is you cancel yourself out. The one who is trying to see and evaluate the limitless. Itself is limited, trying to evaluate the limitless. Have we gone too far? Have you gone too far? I think I've gone where I need to. <laughs> Which is where? Just clarity on being able to differentiate that sense of yes. I from yes. the Yes, because nevertheless I say like that, 
we, we let's look this exercise that you speak about you spoke about no who yeah. was speaking about the exercise you speak about exercise it just uh, two days ago before coming I, uh, we were preparing some of the some of the sayings that come and it, it was coming out like that so I said uh, they said uh, make this uh, maybe make it into something that everybody can have so quickly quickly have a beautiful team they did it so that you could read it now so there is an exercise that must be done why because there's a reflex to keep going back to the reference of ourselves as person and we have to acknowledge that and to keep looking at that and seeing how that is created and look and look and something just naturally cancels out the 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 tangibility of this identity don't speak about it because people will give you trouble this work you must do alone you cannot go don't go to a restaurant and share your friends about it you alone came here maybe your family didn't come so and so didn't come you came alone and you will solve this alone yes don't evaluate just stay but and you see that uh, you don't put a marker a measure on beingness as you move somehow it just becomes more clear and uh, the minds the mind energy which is so overvalued above uh, even uh, the sense of beingness uh, will mm, subside into its natural birthplace to harmonize in beingness so that mind and being become one i can call it heart mind thank you